Hey everybody, just thought I'd uh, give you a little look at uh, one of my knives here. And I apologize right off the bat if it seems like I'm shouting. It's a little bit of a windy day, so I'm just trying to make sure that uh, you can hear me okay. This is the Blind Horse Knives Woodsman Pro. I'll uh, throw the statistics, uh, you know, in the in the description. And I'll do a, uh, a bit of a close-up look at the end that I'll tag on. Uh, but it is a saber grind with a secondary convex it came with, 01 tool steel, uh, bead blasted micarta scales, and um, was it fish eye bolts, brass and stainless, I believe, with a stainless lanyard tube. Awesome knife. Uh, I always liked the the feel of this knife in my hand. Uh, it's 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 an extremely comfortable blade for me for my hand. That is, of course. Uh, the, the cutting power for the tasks and, and things that I would use my knives for, it wasn't quite cutting the mustard. Like I said, it came with a secondary convex bevel. And, uh, you know, in my opinion, it, uh, it was more of a, uh, more of a hunting knife than, uh, than a, uh, say, a bushcraft knife or an outdoor blade in that sense of the word. Now, I'm just going to adjust my camera here, so bear with me. Um, now what I did was I turned around and I put a uh, little mod on it. I uh, put my Lansky to it and changed it to a 20 degree angle. And now it performs very well. It cut wood before but it wouldn't bite very deep. Now it does an extremely uh, very good job at that. So what I'll do is I'll just break out a little bit of wood and we'll do a little bit tawning with it and uh, give you a look. Now this is uh, a maple. Kind of a little nod to uh, a buddy of mine who's sort of been requesting this in my tests. It's not something I would normally do uh, with my knives. I, uh, most of what I have around me is uh, poplar, cedar, for the but 80% cedar. So obviously I've got soft woods and uh, don't have much need to uh, to baton uh, hard wood, but uh, this is just like I said a shout out, and it gives you a great idea of what this knife's capable of. <sighs> Try and get that sand and grit off my little tabletop here, stump top. Don't. Uh, want to do any damage to my edge if I can avoid it. Not on something like that anyway. There's a good size, well, there's a decent knot uh, in the end of that and you can see it's, it's plowing through it pretty easily. Bear with me for yet another second so I make sure that uh, I've got the camera good enough. No, I'll try and raise that a bit so you can... See a bit more clearly. There we go. I am no cameraman, that's for sure. And it is just a phone, so I am no phone man, I don't know. Bad joke. <laughs> This is not green maple. This uh, this maple's dry some weeks or even months now. So there. So there's a good idea on what it does for uh, for hardwood. Like I said, just keep it rather rather quick. This is a little uh, chunk of cedar. Of course, it's going to blast through this. No problem at all.
since I put the 20 degree on this with my Lansky, and that's uh, I use a diamond stone Lansky, that's what I have. Gift from a friend, actually. Thank you very much, brother. It uh, performs very, 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 very well. As you can see, I'm going to try and keep this video within uh, reasonable length. But uh, yeah, like I said, you can see how well it does there. If I show you that piece of wood as it stands now. little fractured already. There's the piece I'm dealing with. Now that took a little bit of effort, but I was trying to get as deep a chunk as I could, uh, as I could easily get off of it. So, you know, there's the slice it took out of it. fractured after the fact but it, uh, it it cuts in really well now so I mean if I was making a peg you know Done and done, right? So I wanted a little bit more robust. Again, it does the job very easily. And of course, cedar, dry cedar, splits very well. And this knife does that very well. Just a little close lengthwise split it's also good this end obviously I've already made for the tent peg but different kind of uh, peg stick that in have your your separation here wedge your paracord in that and then wrap around the outside with a little bit of a, a notch on each side Makes for uh, a very good tent peg. I don't know if you can see that well. Then you just slide your paracord through here, wrap it around there. And of course, as you tighten it, it squeezes on the paracord in here. It's just something I was fooling around with one day. It's kind of a uh, reverse clothespin, maybe. <laughs> I don't know. I'm not too big on names as far as I don't care. But like I said, you slide your paracord through, wrap it through. When you tighten it, it'll cinch that together and uh, really secures your uh, your paracord or whatever cordage you have onto your peg. So, all right, a little bit of carving, a little bit of feather sticking. Handle comfort is very good. I can work, for again, for my hand, and I have, you know, uh, I guess average size hands, a little beefier in the palm, a little thicker in the palm. Fingers aren't long as maybe some people's. Whatever, average, medium, medium to large, I don't know. For me, it's a really comfortable knife. I can work with it for a while, choke up on it. It's a little thinner. It's uh, tapered towards the, uh, the base of the blade here, where handle and blade meet. Uh, it's sort of a teardrop in that sense, as you can see. And, um, choke back a little bit you get a bit more control well, not control but a bit more grip I guess is the word which is uh, you know all part of control but I can work with this one for a while make some shavings for a fire really quick too for that matter with that 20 degree Lansky or 20 degree 
bevel I put on with my Lansky, I should say. You know? Get off my feather sticks. There's a small tinder pile. Get going. Uh, I think that's going to be it for this one. Like I said, I don't want to keep it short. I'll uh, do a little bit of a close-up for you. Actually, I guess now. So there you can see, not much sunlight today, sorry for that. There you can see the uh, Lansky. I didn't even it out towards the bottom there very well. Well, I still got my 20 degrees. High Sabre Grind. There's the uh, Blind Horse logo. If my phone will zoom, there you go. It's a really great knife. As I said, I'll put the uh, length and thicknesses. It's uh, four mil, I can tell you that right off the bat for the thickness of the blade. And uh, I'll put it in centimeters because I usually like to, work to, uh, I like to work in centimeters, but if it's a uh, four and three quarter inch blade, for some reason that sticks in my head. There's your bead blast of Micarta. My favorite finish on a Micarta is the bead blast. I can get in without my bloody hand in the way. You can see the marks left on the uh, bolts from the bead blasting. It's just a, it's a really nice finish. It's very grippy, but uh, still extremely comfortable. Nice patina forming on there. As I said, 01 tool steel holds an edge very well. And I thought I'd just show you the uh, sheath as well. Uh, pretty decent sheath. Uh, I got the dangler belt option as well, as you can see. Good little sheath. Retention uh, leaves a little bit to be desired, but that is easy to fix, especially on this type of leather. Um, as you can see here, it didn't come like this. I did a little wet forming on my own. I have another uh, blind horse uh, sheath for my uh, bushcrafter that I got from them. And I'm going to do a little wet forming video. And just show you how I how I did it, and uh, it just uh, increases the uh, retention uh, in a pretty simple, quick, and amazing way. So uh, you can uh, look for that uh, in the next week or so, probably actually next couple of days. So fire steel loop, mine came with, uh, you know, a little um, retention point if you want to strap it on your leg, what have you. This was a button over. Um, I kind of changed my mind on that and just uh, trimmed that off and went with the open pouch like I said, with the dangler. So, there you have it. Hope you enjoyed, and be well. Bye-bye.